Hi everyone, Michelle with Crafty Servings. Gonna use some leftovers today. You know, what do you have around your house? All right, let's go ahead and get started. So I'm using leftovers. Over the holidays, like Thanksgiving even, and after I was using a lot of wood stuff, um, I made like a reindeer ornament that was adorable out of wood pieces. I made a turkey that was very unusual. Um, as a shelf sitter, so I still have a bunch of these leftover wood pieces. All right, um, we're gonna use some of them. I have extras. I think I like this one. There's different sizes. These wood cutouts you get these also at Hobby Lobby, but I've had them sitting here. Um, I think this is probably about the size they want. Otherwise, I have that one. It might be a little too big. Well, we'll just put them both out here just in case. We only need one. So I get these at Hobby Lobby for $6.99, 40% um, off when they go on sale every few weeks. I, I have quite a few of them because I like to paint on them. I like to do different things. But this is going to be a rustic sort of wall hanging again, um, just something different um, using these wood pieces. This already has the jute on it on the bottom. I don't know how much of that you'll see, but we might add a little extra. Now this also is really cute because it has a hanger on it. I've done like grandchildren signs and stuff where I did um, stencil the grandchildren on and done it that way, but we are gonna do it upright and I love the, the topper on it. I love the jute, but again, I don't know that we're gonna see it. We're gonna do a real simple, this is simple. Um, maybe just thinking outside the box a little. All right, so again, I'm using these driftwood pieces. You get them also at Hobby Lobby. Driftwood chips, they're called. This is a bag of small and large. Um, I'm gonna actually use both. I'll pull them out. You can get sometimes just the bag of large ones, I think. That's actually what I use maybe on the turkey. I, I don't remember, but. That's what we're gonna use. And this is gonna be, we're, we're gonna make a flower on here, all right? And then we're gonna just do a little bit of decorating on it. So um, my thought is this, this I think is the center. Now, there's other options you could use for a center and I'll show you that if I remember. I'll show you that after, but I think I'm gonna stick with the wood. Um, let me see, I'm trying to debate what center. I think I might use that one. And I'm just gonna start laying it out. Now, if you look at these, pieces they have the tapered end um, I want that tapered in and I'm gonna alternate we're gonna make a flower up here I'm gonna alternate the small ones with the large ones just to add a little bit of interest and I'm having that taper end underneath and I'll glue it on in a minute I just want to make sure it fits And I'm alternating the large and the small. But even, okay, that's gonna be just cute like that. Um, put that on there. Some of my large ones I don't like. Okay, can you see that already? Isn't that just really cute? And I think that's the perfect size for the middle. Let me just see. Well, I like that too. I, th I think we're gonna. I think we're gonna use that one though. All right, so I'm just gonna go ahead and start. It's gonna be that kind of day. I've been having a lot of those lately, haven't I? So I'm just putting this back on here so that I can see that I'm going to have it under, and it's gonna be under where that hole is. So. Um, and I'm just gonna go ahead and start putting some of the glue on. If you're in a place where um, it's hot, you know, maybe use some E6000 with the hot glue. The hot glue makes it so it's a quick stick, um, but then putting a little E6000 around the outside of it or something, that'll make it last in hot weather. But I ain't worried about hot weather here. We get it, but not, not like some of you. Okay, this I think is gonna be really cute. Here. Is the wood in the, in the unfinished section? 
It is. It's in the in your wood section. Actually, both of it, I'm almost positive that even these round circles are in that section. You get them in a bag, um, like a mesh bag. I mean, just even like this is just really cute. I said, I might end up, I'm going to try that bigger circle again one more time on top of here just to see. So if you like rustic, I do a lot of that. Um, I do do some other stuff, but I'll surprise you once in a while. So let's put these all in here. Okay, this is just really, really cute. Yeah, Charlotte, there's so many things you can do with these wood slices. I actually had, I was trying to put together um, on a bigger wood slice, and I actually I was trying to put it together so it looked like a rabbit face on there, but it was looking like an old man, so that wasn't working out too well. It wasn't a cute rabbit, it was an old man. So, all right, so I'm going to either put on this one or this one. I think the little one, right? Well... Which do you think, the large one? <laughs> or the little one? Old oh, man rabbit. I don't think it was even old man rabbit. It just looked like an old man. <laughs> um, all right, the large one, the little one, the small one. Little, large. Oh, I got a big mix here. Just look. You know, little, little, little. Oh, I got a lot of little here now. Little, little. All right, I think we'll go with the little. We got more opinion on the little. Thank you, Tommy. I appreciate it. All right, so let's do the little. Um, so I'm just going to run a bead inside of here because it's not gonna it's not gonna fit down in there really. I'm hoping some of this will drip. <laughs> we'll see. I don't want to see it around there. So I'm hoping some of it will drip and, and sort of cling to what I did with that others. I think I need some more. Get right on the outside edge. Hey, Carmen. All right, we got the small now. It's on. Where did you get the wood pieces? These wood pieces are Hobby Lobby. Like I said, I've left over. I've done a lot with them in the last several months. Um, these are called driftwood chips. And like the bag of these. Now, this, this is small and large. Um, I don't know how many pieces were in here. But I've combined a couple bags together. But you get the smaller and the larger ones. You can also get some that are just large. And I don't know, I suppose you could probably get some that are just small. So, but I'm using up leftovers, so that's what I'm using. These are also Hobby Lobby. Uh, you get a bunch of these in a bag. Um, this isn't even the bag. I've got other stuff mixed in here. But that's just really cute. Okay. So, because the jute is down here, I'm not sure we're going to see it, but because it's down here, I got out my monster jute. Y'all know I like jute. And so when they had this on sale um, at Hobby Lobby, well, yeah, you got to get it, right? I use so much jute. Um, so I, I'm getting out the big boy today. And this is going to be my stem. Okay, and, and I'm going to have it sort of curved like that. So I'm just going to put a little bit of glue down in there. Now the problem is I don't want to see the glue as I go. It's going out the door. All right, Teresa, we'll catch you later. It is Debbie, but I use so much of it. And this is probably like six or eight ply something like that and I always separate my juice so then I don't need to use as much so I'll use it I'll bet you within one year it'll be gone and I'll be buying another one 
looks like a roll of baling twine, but actually it's not twine. It's, it's thicker it, or it's, it, this is thicker. The twine is a little bit different. I do have some, I call it binder twine. All right. So I'm just going to, I want it again, sort of curved like that. And it sort of has the curve from being on the roll. So I'm going to cut that off. Now I'm just gonna put little little dabs in a couple places because I don't wanna see it. <gasps> and it's hot. <laughs> Thank you, Rose. So you are gonna see what I just did. Cause <laughs> just picking off some of it. Like I said, I don't wanna see much of that. Okay, and I love this curl down here. I'm just gonna put a little bit on here. Okay. Even just like that is just cute. Uh-oh. Oh, that was an extra one. <laughs> I'm like, did one fall off already? <laughs> it jumped up. It's like, you know, what are those um, twiddly winks, you know, where you could go like this and, and do that. That's what it did. Do you remember them? Am I aging myself? <laughs> oh, thank you, Edie. All right. So this is just cute, just like this. I I'm, I'm think I'm going to add a little something to it. Yeah, but it's it could be done right it really could thank you for all the hearts i appreciate it you've never seen this thing this is in the unfinished wood section okay um and like i said when they have them i buy a bunch of them because i love them for so many things i've painted on them i've done other things on them i i love these so um i do get them a lot let's do the darker um wherever I threw it, there it is. And then I'll show you because, and I'll show you why I think I'm leaning towards the darker. I can see better now, because I see in there, and if I can't see it. Okay, so we're gonna add a couple of these under here. So it's upside down. Okay, that's cute. And then I also have see even like you could add a pop of color like these little yellow roses, something like that. But I've got this big monster. I'm gonna pull out some of this twirly moss. And you can buy just the moss itself, the twirly too. And I also have these. These are both Hobby Lobby too. Um, I have these and I like some of these, so I'm gonna cut some of them off. And we'll add them in behind there too. Oh, Mary Ann, Milwaukee is not too far from me. We'll cut that one off. Here's just a little one. Let's see. I'm gonna cut this one off. Get the big one out. Yeah, I think the darker one with these in there, I definitely think the darker one will go best. Okay, we'll put a couple of them in there. Um, I'm gonna cut this just in case. Okay, and then I'm gonna cut a couple of these little, I love these moss curlies. Let's get down to, I always pick my stuff apart. I very seldom do I use them the way they are. Thank you, Debbie. I appreciate it. So, um, if we put that in there. And these that came off that other one, they also twist they're wired but they almost look like branches 
So they're actually sort of cute. Something like that in there. And like that. And then I need to put something over the top. Something on that order, right? Thank you, Rose. All right, so now we got a glue. And then, I mean, you could put stones. I have stones. You could put little stones down there. We might do that too. We'll look. So let me just, I'm just going to add glue behind here. And I'm hoping I'll be catching everything that needs the glue. Add this one in here also. I love all of it but the green. Yeah, I love all of it but the green leaves. So the green leaves isn't for you, huh? See, and oh, the the green those. Let's just put that down on there. Okay. So I do need to put a little bit of glue like behind a spot that's going to touch back here. So that holds that branch in place. With, I loved it without your add-ons, but I love it even more with. I love it without the add-ons too, I, I do. So, but this was so simple, right? It's so simple, All right? I'm just gonna put a little dab behind that one. Okay, we do have to put a little something on the bottom to cover these up, to cover up that bottom, because now you got that bottom that's not looking the prettiest, but isn't that just pretty? I like it. Oh, Marianne, thank you. Okay, and I thought, you know what? Just adding this simple little green flower down there. I like that. Almost done. That actually covers almost all of what's going on down there. Um, I don't like them. Let's just see. This is just a simple little pick. I'll bet you it was like a hardware store, like a um, yeah, probably like a local hardware store or something that had little. little um like picks like this <laughs> all right how about that trying do you like that <laughs> all right let's add this one in and this teal one i wasn't sure that i'd like the teal but it has little touches of that light green in there and we'll add this little one in and i think we're going to be done this was so quick, simple, easy. How's that? Oh, thank you for passing it on. I appreciate it. Bring the single one in a, in a little bit. You know, and then like I said, I also had a thought. I had a couple little stones here. I really like that. I see what you're getting at, but I already have glue there. Raffia bowl, and I have my raffia here. I had debated on that. 
Maybe just a little one, right? Just real little bit of messy raffia. Or just a little bit of messy raffia in it and not even necessarily a bow. See, I thought of some moss, but I wasn't sure. I don't want to cover what's down there. Maybe just little, I like this little fine raffia. Maybe just a little of that tucked in behind here. Just a little, little raffia tucked behind there. What do you think of that? button on the middle of the bowl. What if I would just tuck a couple of those little, messy little raffia? Well, thank you, Elma. Elma, Elma, I made it on a live. <laughs> Kendra, I'm gonna send this to you. <laughs> I, I didn't know that. <laughs> I just tuck a little of that down in here too. How about just something like that? That brings together this, right? <laughs> All right, I'm just gonna tuck a little bit of glue back behind here. Hopefully get that raffia to stay. Huh? Yep. Okay, perfect. Okay, there we go. I like the idea of the raffia. I wasn't sure about a bowl, but I like just putting that little bit because it ties this color in. There we go. Big wood button. You know, the other thought is you could always put a wood button like, like up here or something. You know, just my signature button, right? A cute, that would be really cute. Put a signature button up here. That would work, right? So, all right, you all have a really, really good day, and hopefully we'll see you all really soon.